Hi everyone, I'm Patricio Guerra, digital artist, and I'm going to share with you the process of this painting. Um, this painting was created uh, with the purpose of celebrating Easter, and the concept concept behind this is that I was taking somehow this celebration and mixing with some of the uh, characteristic things that. Uh, people has in Australia. Uh, because of this, or in order to achieve this, I decided to take this rock, this sacred rock that exists in Australia, in the middle of Australia, that is named Ulurulu, if I'm not uh, mistaken, the pronunciation for me is a bit tricky. Um, this is meant to be uh, a rock that exists in the middle of the desert and is sacred for the aboriginals of Australia. So what I did is I took this as uh, inspiration and I create a rock in a similar shape with different elements of a rabbit in it. And then I painted uh, in a way that it represents or it kind of relates with the desert that exists around or maybe not exactly a desert but with this dusty place that is the environment um, I decided to include uh, these rabbit eggs uh, for the sun uh, we are going to change later on the square that we have now and I like it, this idea of the sun that is somehow uh, I don't know painting the sky with with his light that's why I did these kind of uh, circles that turn around and go in deep till the middle of the Sun like to create the idea of the um, race of the Sun although I'm trying to paint the the rock and also trying to maintain the details of the rabbit. My idea was to get a painting where it feels like the rabbit has been carved on the on the rock, or like the rock has this form. Um, this is the main element, that, and that's why I decided to dedicate uh, an important part of the time rendering this element. I didn't. The sketch that I started was very basic. I think it was not a completely defined sketch for the entire painting. It was more on a sketch for the main element, and the rest of the elements that we're going to include in this painting are going to be decided in the way uh, as we do this. In order to help the composition, um, because I wanted to have all the attention to this little sun and the mountain uh, that's why we, or at least I uh, decided to include most of the space for these two elements and the, the floor that is uh, what we are going to look from now till the middle is in the lower part of the painting is uh, using less space in the page and as you will see that I'm trying to create this illusion like if we are watching this mountain uh, or this rock from a far distance. For the egg, uh, I'm trying to use these elements that are very characteristic from these eggs uh, when people celebrate Easter. Uh, Right now is on a square, but uh, as I said before, we are going to change that. Uh, I was experimenting with this, and I didn't like it, the result at the end. Uh, that's why I'm going to replace with uh, an actual egg. It feels uh, strange. Uh, I'm not sure if you uh, share with me the same opinion. Uh, all the shapes are rounded and only the X is on a square. It was looking strange, I think. That's why I changed it. We are going to redo the floor. I didn't like it. 
the one that we had at, uh, before. The, the floor is going to take a lot of time, especially because I started without a sketch for this and will be very tricky to resolve the information that we are going to put in there. In order to, to achieve this, uh, to resolve this problem with the floor, I was using a lot of um, texture brushes. I'm not sure if you agree, but uh, I personally I hate how that thing looks. The, the sun in the, in the middle of the rays. Feels strange. I don't know why. I like the way that is uh, distributed for the composition. I just don't like it how it looks. Okay, now with the parts that we are painting right now, uh, it's going to give us an idea of a little path. This will help us to move the eyes from the viewers from the bottom of the of the painting till the place where we find the, the, the rock. That is actually what we want to show to the people. Uh, the way that I'm doing this is I'm placing details and I'm removing them with different te text brushes because I want to give somehow the idea of the foliage. Although it's a very um, dusty place, this, this area in Australia, um, it's, not ex it's not a desert, uh, as I mentioned before, that was a wrong uh, selection of words. We are going to be doing this for a while, um, the floor. This is one of the things that uh, took me or cost me the most because I was not sure what I was doing from the beginning with this. Using before a um, brush that was an um, airbrush, it gave a really strange look to the to the X before and I think that and you probably will agree that using texture brushes has helped a lot in this painting. Giving highlights and reinforcing the shadows and the occlusions of this rock will help us to define this and put the attention of the people in there. As you can see, when we tried to do a egg that was white, it was looking horrible. For some reason, it called too much the attention and it like it was too much contrast that it didn't match with the background. Now I think it looks, looks better. It's in a similar color palette and although it's bright, it's not too bright. Remember that we, for composition, we want to have the more attention possible into the rock and the rest of the elements should just guide us to there well guys this is basically the the painting i hope you like it if you want to support me you can check more of this artwork and these speed painting videos on my patreon account if you want to wear and use this kind of art you can have them on really cool merch on Redbubble and you can have high quality prints on my art station shop. Uh, remember to share it um, with your friends, your family, with someone that you know that you think they might like it. And with this you help me enormously to keep creating and improving my art. Uh, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.